What's going on YouTube? This Mike, your budget baller. Good to see y'all today. Um, today we're doing a new video. Um, never done a review video, but yes, it should be pretty cool. Uh, wore my G.I. Joe shirt because after doing this one, I feel like a G.I. Joe. So, uh, I just picked up uh, some uh, invite to go to a Mad Fair game. Uh, never played Mad Fair paintball yet. Um, something I really wanted to get into. I bought a Hammer 7 so I could get into it. But um, had a feeling that wasn't going to be enough. I probably wouldn't get the full effect. Seemed like it'd be fun to play with the pump. But uh, kind of wasn't quite ready for that. So as you know, I bought on a budget. Um, went and looked at some uh, some Mad Fair paintball guns. You die damn that I ain't messing with. Uh, too expensive. Uh, you got your TGR2, um, the what's it, the 468, and a whole bunch of other little random uh, mag-fed paintball guns that uh, or markers, or whatever you want to call it, um, that I, I kind of went into. But what I did realize is that because I had a Hammer Seven, I had some magazines. I could take those magazines and I could probably put them towards another um, Spider gun. So you got Spider MRX, you got the MR5 and the EMR5, a couple other guns. Cool part about the spiders is um, they're not expensive. Um, so if it's something you're looking at trying to get into, you're not going to break your pockets. You'll get a decent gun. You'll have a whole lot of features, and it won't, won't hurt your pockets. So what I ended up picking up when I went to the paintball store, the Spider MR, MR6. Now this one just came out. I don't even think anybody else did a video on this one. It hasn't been, been out very long. But apparently it's the replacement to the MR5 or the uh, the MRX. Uh, has basically most of the same features as they do. Um, magazine fed. Comes with an extra magazine. Um, it's a dual load system just like the rest of the, uh, the MR series. So you got... Uh, mag fed and you also got hopper fed you can switch between the both um, then if we open up nah let's uh, forget the accessories alright here's your spider MR6 um, again like I said mag fed I can never get this right hence the reason I wanted to take my time but once you get used to it, you'll figure it out. It's a little bit different. You tilt it in and then put it in. Alright, then you also got your feed neck. I um, probably want to need a clamping feed neck or something to hold it up, but I'll probably never go hopper fed. Um, other cool thing is all the spider stuff is uh, it, it's transferable. So you can take this off and put it on a um, MRX, or you can take some of the parts off of MRX. I know MRX has a, um, a cover for the for the uh, feed tube for the uh, the hopper so you just take this one off cover it up you just go mad fair strictly um, comes with a picatinny rail you also got your barrel which is ported I don't know if it's for looks or not we'll see when I fire it um, collapsible stock uh, I can tell you right off the bat a lot of stuff does not come with a collapsible stock. I guess that's starting to be the new thing. Um, when I bought my Tipman in there, it, heck, it didn't even have a stock. So uh, that, that's good to know. I ain't got to go out and buy that stuff. Um, other cool thing, it's got a charger handle. <laughs> I fire a lot of guns. For some reason, when you pull that charger handle back on somebody, they know you mean business. It's hilarious, but I, I love it. Uh, other thing um, that I kind of don't like is the fact that you got your air hose line going on the outside. Um, I think they could have put it in the in the grip, but again, this is this magfed marker and hopper fed because most most of them you only get one. You get both with these, one hundred and sixty nine dollars. So you know for one one seventy one eighty one seventy five one eighty with tax. Uh, you're getting a lot. You already got another set of Picatinny rails on the front. Um, I wish this wasn't so wide, but it actually holds my hand a lot better. The other thing is if you're putting the stuff on there, they're usually not real. So the dudes that got red dot sights and flashlights and all that magical pretty stuff, 
it don't work. <laughs> so it is what it is. If you just got it for looks, you just got it for looks. I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying I know the truth. All right. Uh, you got your front sight um, and also in the box. And I'm going to set this to the side. Uh, inside the box, you'll see you come with your instructions. Um, got a set of Allen keys, uh, some O-rings, some other little parts in the bag. Spare magazine, definitely a plus. And you also get... A, a, a sight rail, hand, carrying handle, whatever they want to call it, and it actually moves. It surprised me. Um, I fire M6 series and M4s, AR15s, and all that. And just to have this come in the box and it actually be operational. Now, mind you, I don't know if it's going to be accurate, but it does look cool. So, you know, if you want to put that on there, or if you want to put a scope on there, you still got that option. Comes with the goofy orange barrel plug. Don't nobody use these no more. Spider, if you got a question, hey, get rid of these and put a sock in there. That'll actually be a lot better. Uh, barrel condom, whatever y'all want to call that. So um, I picked this up at DMC Paintball, Colorado Springs. Best place. Thanks, Dave. Um, if you're ever in Colorado Springs and you need something, go there. Um, so this is me jumping in the woods ball. Not woods ball, but magfed. Other cool thing about this magnet is it already comes free first strike capable. So if you look inside the magazine, instead of a circle, it's shaped like a square. I'll bring it up to the camera. Um, and uh, you got the concave, so it'll fit first strike rounds. Also, um, it, it'll fit regular balls. So. Guess that's pretty cool. If you got some questions about first strike rounds or something like that, man. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. I'm not gonna tell you about them, but I tell you, the grip actually feels really, really good. Uh, it, I can wrap my hand around it. It, it most of the time. That's I got little hands. All right, don't laugh, but little hands don't fit across everything. So um, the fact that it's something that feels good in your hand is pretty, pretty good. Um, the other thing is, eh. Where they put the uh, the magazine drop normally on a real M4 M16 magazine, the pin button will be kind of right here. With them, they put it so far away, you just can't drop it. You gotta reach over, which sucks. But at the same time, if you do a two hand deal, you don't drop your magazine. You actually probably pick it up and pull it. Then you pull a new one, and it teaches you to do something else. I'm sorry, I pointed this at the camera. <laughs> But it is what it is. Um, everything seems pretty solid except for the stock, and that's only because it's probably it's only held on by one screw. But again, um, it's not bad at all. All right, so that's your Spider MR6. Um, pretty cool weapon. Again, budget baller. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get where you need to go for the lowest price possible. Uh, if y'all got any questions. Uh, that's kind of my review for today. Uh, again, big shout outs to uh, Dave over at DMC Paintball. Uh, hope y'all like the shirt. Uh, shoot, while I'm here, um, I can tell you something else. So, that same day, I picked up, I went, again, I went pawn shopping. Now, pawn shopping is pretty cool because you might not have to pay full price for anything. So, I went to the pawn shop. And I picked up these Valkyrie the VTAC Zulu paintball pads. Uh, they're in the Marpat uh, camo pattern. Um, and they had a price tag of $100 on them. Now, I looked online, regular price is $129. But cool part about going in the pawn shop is they didn't know what they had. And whoever stuck them on the wall, hammered a nail straight through them. Yeah, a nail straight through them. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, um, I actually got to talk to Price now on them. Um, I brought a couple video games in there to get rid of. So, they gave me a, a little bit bucks. At the end of the day, cash payout on these, I only paid 30 bucks for them. Now, you're looking at a $100 discount for 
a brand new pair of paintball pads. Um, they got the panels for your knees, um, stretchy panels in the crotch area. And the back is pretty cool because it's all mesh. So I probably won't get hot at all, but I'm worried about getting bit by mosquitoes. So we'll see whether I wear for, like some shorts or some uh, track pants up under the bottom just to make sure they don't get in there. But they're supposed to keep you cool. Uh, on the side, they got this cool nylon um, padding. Uh, supposed to help you slide. Trust, I've never worn any paintball pants, so this will be a new first. Uh, also, the padding in these isn't that bad. Um, could be a little better, but I'll probably put some volleyball knee pads on there. If you go to like a discount store like Ross for Less or something like that, you could probably get a pair of volleyball knee pads for $5. $5 will save your knees. I'm getting old. Knees is going bad. Don't want to bang them up no more. But, um, yeah, that, that was the next buy. Um, wasn't too bad. So, the reason I'm saying that, and I'm going to do a video on all the stuff I bought at the pawn shop uh, for paintball. Pawn shop shopping is not, not bad. It's actually very, very good. It's not hard on your pockets. So, you're looking at a pair of paintball pants and bag figure. And that's less than $200. Um, in most cases, that would cost you half a gun or half a marker. So uh, I think that's pretty good. Also, while I, while I was out, um, I, I heard guys wearing sliding pants and this, that, and the other. And um, I went to the other store, picked these up. These are on the clearance rack. It's not football season. So because it's not football season, Football girders are on sale, so I picked these up off the clearance rack for like five dollars. Um, normally, these are gonna cost you 65, 70 bucks. If you go and get the paintball sliding pants or sliding shorts or what they were gonna call you, you're looking at you know 65 to 100 dollars. Five dollars. Um, again, you gotta go searching. Um, if you look in again, like Ross for Less or TJ Maxx, uh, they carry this stuff. Uh, it's usually on a discount, especially when it's not football season because it doesn't sell. Um, next thing I picked up, I like my tattoos. I got tattoos on both arms, but they're not below the elbow. So I picked up Empire's, uh, uh, what they call this, the protective padded shirt, uh, combat shirt. I don't know. Um, but uh, cool part is goes down and covers up my tattoos. Keeps me from getting shot right there. Um, I'm not, I don't like long sleeves, um, I get hot fast, so um, that was the biggest reason of, hey, let me get something designated to keeping me cool and keeping my pads from, uh, my tattoos from getting shot. I got hit in the arm and it scarred me up, it's been a scar there for the last six months, so pretty pissed off about that. You know, you can't fix a scar tattoo, it is what it is, so uh, that's kind of some of the stuff I picked up. I'll do a video on me wearing everything I'm planning on wearing when I go play paintball. Um, also, I'll do a, a video on how I set up uh, everything b before I go. Uh, what I use, uh, what makes, what's the best thing I use on the field um, for the budget. Um, so, uh, that's the video for today. Um, let me know if you got any questions. Like at the bottom. Um, if you got any um, suggestions, what I need to do to make the video better, go ahead and put them in there. Um, if you got any questions on the MR6, I'll tell you how it shoots on another video. Also, um, when I go to the MacFed thing up in uh, Colorado, uh, close to Denver, they got a MacFed event up there. So that'll be my first MacFed event. I'll go up there. Um, I think the mud guys are putting it on. Uh, shout outs to you guys. We'll see um, if you guys pick me up. Um, other than that, that's your budget balling video.